Yo, what's going on, everyone? We are at Kobe's. I almost forgot. We're at Kobe's Swap Me right now, and it's 7 a.m. So the line's starting to pile up for people to get in. We got in a little bit early, but we're gonna be here. We're gonna try and do some buying. Um, we don't have anything to sell. We're just here to buy for the store. Uh, mostly actually looking for vintage. I know most people think we're gonna be looking for sneakers, but this is sneakers and vintage. So we're actually looking for some good vintage pieces. But, you know, if we find some good deals, you know, we're not gonna turn them down. Obviously we need some stuff for the store, but you know, this is uh, ep forget episode six or something like that, but we're gonna go ahead, episode five maybe, but we're gonna go ahead, take a look around, find some deals. So let's get to it. Or, no, or you bought them? My brothers, yeah. Oh, okay, that's dope though. I'm a size. These are all my, like an eight and a half, nine. Ah, uh, I see. These are all my brothers right here. Mm -hmm. Do you think you could run 260 for this one? For the car purples? Yeah. 260? Yeah. 270 under yours. You can't just run the 260 for them? Uh, or me in the middle, 265? Cool. Let's keep hustling and bustling. Yeah, man, there's so many, so many vendors and it's so early and you got everyone else out here like already trying to like cash people out all day and it's crazy. You got to make your deals faster. You're just not going to get them. And that's like the hard part because like you don't want to rush you know your time of thinking but you also don't want to waste so much time at each vendor that you just miss out on stuff so hopefully we can find some more you know this this is our first deal we got the core purples i mean we paid 265 is kind of a a decent price i mean they're going for 340 brand new so we'll sell them for about 3 310 you know some slight but core purples are kind of hot so it is what it is. Those two dunks are yours. What about the UNLV and the Syracuse? Yeah, those are ones. All, all four? Yeah, or the orange ones are yours. The orange ones are mine, yeah. Gotcha. What are you looking for, the five Why? Um, I, mean, I was trying to take all four in a deal. What's the best you think you could do on them? They're at like 200. 220. Dunks, would you do 480? 480? Yeah, for the orange pearls, the cobalts, and the UNLV. Can they five? Uh, you want to just meet in the middle 490? Call, call it a day? Yeah, I'll do it. All right, cool. We just picked up uh, three pairs of dunks. Dunks have been selling really well at the store right now, so it's always a good buy. Um, we paid pretty well on them. I mean, it's, it's just how it is at the store. You know, we've tried and pay well, and you know, we still make our money. So uh, all these are gonna be for sale back on Monday. So stay tuned. Can you run me 380? No? All right, I don't know if this is true. This is just how I feel. The nicer the booth, the nicer the booth, the more expensive the prices. You know, people people who put attention into their booth makes it look nicer. I mean, I get it, but you know, partially, I mean, okay. Honestly, guys, speaking, speaking my truth, like it's really hard to come to sneaker events like this and expect to get a bunch of steals and deals. Like I know we see a bunch of other videos of people doing that stuff, but like, it's it's harder than it looks and you know because you're a reseller trying to buy from other resellers like it's you know for you to make profit everyone has to make profits it's, it's tough out here but you know we, we try and squeeze what deals we can and we'll see what we get
this booth. We're waiting. His booth is popping off right now. Like so many people coming and going, trying to make deals. So we're, you know, giving him a little breathing room because like we want to support, you know, the local business. You feel me? Like, yeah, like I know uh, we're interested in all of these pairs though. I'm glad we pulled them off when we did. Um, but yeah, we're gonna negotiate a little bit and see if we could work something out. But, Let's see. Cool. So we're. Asking 350 on those. What's your best? Um, I was at 280. 280. I can. My best would be 330. Um, but uh, we can sit for a side right now. Uh, right now, sitting at 330. For sure. Yeah, we're carrying two now. For right. those, I was, I was asking 250, one one. So really a cool deal. What's okay. your best on those? Uh, I was at like 224. 220. I can do 230. 230. Yeah. That's cool. Um. All right. So this is uh pending. Yeah. Decided. What was these at again? Uh, I put those at 450. What's your best for those? 450. Six and a half. You said 450? Yeah. Uh, I was at four. Four? Can you meet me in the middle of 425? Um, can you run 410? Uh, 420 would probably be my lowest if you want to do that. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, the smokes. Most asking 250, Venus, one one, so would you all? What's your best? Uh, 220. Can you do 230? I just want to be at the 220 for this one. 220, we can yeah. do Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Not even 240? Uh, 240, I'm 250 firm on 250? that, to be honest, bro. Okay, just because of what I paid. I'll that's come back like, to that's it. That's pretty much what I paid gotcha. on. Gotcha. And then I heard you say 350. Yeah, 350 rep box. for this, rip box. Um, you want to run three? Uh. Three thirty would probably be my best for those. Uh, those are DS, bro. I can do three ten on those. If you guys got any questions, let me know. You want just uh three twenty? Uh, three twenty five for him, buddy. Go on that is three. Uh, we can do that. All right. Uh, the what? How much were you at for this uh, one? I'm looking high on those. Uh, I can do 250. 250? Uh, let me double check. Okay. Yeah. 320, get it all done. I got to do 330. <laughs> Just, uh, I'm giving you deals, bro. I know, but I'm also trying to take like a bunch. Yeah, of course. You of know. Course, but there's a bunch of room for your pocket after that, bro. But you can see like, it's. Uh, for those asking too, you can see, bro, it's so like not used. The glitter is starting to show, you know? Yeah, I know, they're good. Yeah. It's just like the light heel drag on it is the only thing for me. Like you got the light heel drag on it for being a worn once pair on, on this side. That's like to me I feel like it was more like worn a little bit more than once. Um I'm down with 250. Okay, cool. We can run that. Right. And then just I'm at 320. Last 320. one. Um or take all of them. What are you trying to do on those? Uh <laughs> I think the most I'd pay is probably 420 on them. 420? Yeah. So you said four. You said 425. So. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, I can do 420 on that. But, but that's only if I could get these for the 320. Then I can do that. All right. Then I can do that. Yeah. 216. I want to. I want to take this 10 bucks. It's not a bad price, honestly. Like that's how much you find them at a thrift store for. Like. Very good. Cold walls. Oh, okay. But one of them is in a six and a half, and one of them in a ten and a half. You bought them off somebody who yeah, came? Yeah, I paid two eighty for the two pairs, and the woman size or the uh, six and a half dead stock is going for like seven twenty five or some BS, and there's no used pairs in the market. Thank you so much, I really appreciate you. And then these five right here, or sorry, four pairs. I think I just got for eight fifty total. Not too bad. I mean, Not these right bad. here, those are easy 250 movers. Plus, these are like 300 along. So, dang, this is crazy. These are going for a lot of money, yeah. dude. I didn't realize how much they were going for. Yeah, they're the sleeper pair. Seriously. Oh, these are the Mars. Dang. From far away, I thought these were the the fire reds, but got the Mars fours right there. Yeah, their shoes are definitely like the older versions, like got the old love, new love pack. 
Oh. <laughs> I was so late, bro. Like, all my boys set up the table and everything, bro. Oh, you're still price tagging them, too, no, huh? bro. I was, yeah, I was so late, bro. I overslept. No alarm went off. Nothing, bro. Uh, and the events are super early, too. Yeah, I don't know why they did that. It's just it's the art of the swap meet. Uh, I guess. Mind if I see the... Yeah, this is going on my foot. Javi made me put it on earlier. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> like, you're not gonna wear it. Nah, <laughs> yeah, you saw us uh, take a picture of it on our Instagram. Bird is the one who brought him in. He's always got the early pairs. Yeah, he's the homie too. One ten. Uh, I'll take him. That was a, probably the quickest deal we had. He said 110, I said, sure. Like, I already know it's a good deal. And I mean, they're pretty clean. There's nothing really wrong with them. Looks like they were worn like maybe once or twice. These things are selling like even used for like 200. So pretty good deal. This is Sneaker Hustle USA. Check them out on YouTube and Instagram. The real sneak. Hey, dude, this guy sells more pairs than me, so. No, no, no. <laughs> Are you thinking about opening up a store one day? One day, maybe, definitely. Um, I'm still trying to figure it out, like, what I want to do. You know? I get you. Uh, no, I mean, like, I know what I want to do, but I'm saying, like, going to open up a shop, warehouse type thing. Like, uh, I, I want to, like, right now, like, my focus is, like, moving out, you know? Yeah, I get spot. So, yeah. Hey, man. I see you hustling, so it's always see, good, man. You got, you got a like, professional <laughs> setup now. Everything. I know. I was doing everything before. I, I Literally, Chris came... What was it like two weeks ago? Like we took him on two weeks because it was just getting way too, like yeah. I couldn't handle everything. I'm trying to get an editor because dude, I, I it's so much time. I I, just, I hate editing myself. Oh, that's no, just like <laughs> watching myself. Oh, just, gotcha. I'm very picky, dude. I, when I listen to myself, I'm like, yeah. I'm an idiot. Like, yeah. The whole time, I have to take every ten minutes, I have to take a break, and I'm like, why did I just do that? You know, like, I get so. so I'm trying to get someone else to do it for me because I'm cool with like everything else, but I hate like listening to myself all the. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. You know? um, yeah. How, how's the shop? It's been really good. Yeah, I see. It's. it's I've never bought as many pairs as I have in my life, yeah. and. People coming to you now. Yeah, and like, and that's the best, best thing, dude. Like, I literally just chill, and then like, people bring me thirty pairs of shoes, and I'm like. Yeah. I didn't have, and they come knowing that they're not going to get market value. Yeah, yeah. You know, instead of having, shop, yeah. yeah, like instead of having like on offer of like negotiate everybody, like some people are just like, oh yeah, this is what I want. I'm like, perfect. Like, and it's such a grind to like try to find bulk. You know, that's like, you. You know, you're usually buying like two, three pairs. Yeah. That's, that's kind of like the struggle, you know. But, I, but what I noticed, like, I like selling online a lot. So you know, like, yeah, that, that's what works for me. And like, uh, yeah, like the benefit of the shop is definitely for getting inventory. Yeah. The shop, we don't really get too many like in-store sales. Like we still do, yeah. or we get trades, which are really good too. But like most of our sales are through online still. But what time do you get here? I got here six. I bought like 18 pairs so far. Oh wow! How many nice. pairs did I we just did a bundle deal for like seven, and then we picked up four, so 11, 12. Were you buying a lot of DS and get some? No, like people love to use stuff yeah. and. I buy a shit ton of used. Yeah, used is like, because your margins are bigger. Yeah. Like DS is cool, but it's everyone's like, yeah, they're like, oh, well, StockX is this. And I'm like, yeah, 20 bucks off of it because it's just not worth it. But yeah, this is like, I think this was like the steal of the day. Those uh, red box? No. Oh, I, I saw like another one of these. Yeah. Like how much you get them? I was like, I just asked him, I was like, how much? He's like 110. I was like, okay, cool. Dude, I, was I like, saw a pair of hey. red box. Uh, these are used though, right? Uh, worn once, yeah. Okay. Uh, they were like pretty worn though. And he wanted 80. Oh, that's not too but bad. I, but... I offered him 60, I'm like, like cause oh. it was kind of a beater rep box. Oh, okay, gotcha. Uh, like for you, uh, this is the question I have, like being a store owner, this is the problem that I would personally have is like, yeah. balance with like hobbies, you know? Like obviously, you know, you gotta put in hell of time having a shop, you gotta be there at least 40, 50 hours. Yeah. Um, how do you balance like yeah the working out or whatever it's it's doing? it's really about like having boundaries like yeah. like being strict on your boundaries and that's something that like my wife helps me out with a lot because before like my work yeah like and like 
At least for me, like we, like I believe, like you know, marriage comes first above everything else. Like I married her; that's my promise to her. Like you're more important than my work. And so for me to like keep that promise, I have to keep those boundaries. And it's easy for work to like bleed over. Like oh, I just got home from the shop, but I gotta write these emails or fulfill this order or upload more stuff on this website. I'm like, yeah, I can't do it. And so like we've been pretty like strict on like so as soon as you get you're home, done, you're done. You're yeah. done. Leave it at work if it doesn't get over. Like it's not the end of the world. Um, and then plus hiring the intern helps. But and but at the start, like I think for any business, you're gonna like breathe and live just work yeah, yeah. but then as you like progress and get bigger then uh, i was telling chris on the way down like the beauty is a lot of people want to really grow their business yeah. but at to some point like they don't need more money but they just want more money because they feel like they're successful yeah. and i'm like but that's not the goal the goal isn't to be like super wealthy it's to like maintain a good living yeah. and then if i can maintain a good living not be at the shop as much which means like i'm hiring other people in the future like I'm willing to take that pay cut so that way I can enjoy my life yeah. rather than like, oh, I'm just always grinding. Yeah. But there's like I a mean, fine line. You're gonna keep going. Hopefully, you know, get another employee, another employee. Yeah, yeah, that's the hope. And yeah, it's just all about being like, yeah, as soon as I get home or as soon as I do this, like that's it. Or I'm, I'm trying to get back in the gym. Yeah, I, see, that's the thing. I, like right now I'm super, <laughs> You know, passionate about jiu-jitsu, like while I still can physically before I, you know, yeah, get older and getting older and body yeah. breaking down. <laughs> so it, yeah, and I feel like I still compete and like you know win something maybe possibly. So that's what I'm trying to like figure out. You know, like if I open a shop, like I don't know if I could do that. Gotcha. You know? Yeah, for at least for me, like the goal is to start. Um, I used to wake up at six. I mean, I wake up at seven, seven thirty now. But like my mornings are really lax. But I was like, if I wake up at six, I still have time to go go to the gym, work out, get back home, like spend the morning with my wife, do all that stuff, get ready for the shop. Because that's the beauty of the shop too, is most shops open later in the day. Yeah, what like time do you we open at 11, 11 nice. uh, which is a little bit earlier than some other sneaker shops open up at 12. Um, and so you still have like a really long morning, yeah. which you could work out, do all that stuff. So yeah. there's t there's always time. It just depends if what, what you want to make the time for, you know, but I'm sure you'll get there. Yeah. And, well, and... I don't know. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> don't want to go break a mortar. Oh, you know, you know, ZA kicks. Uh, yeah, that sounds familiar. But like he just is pure online. That's kind of like something I thought about because like, you know, nowadays there's been so many new brick and mortars open up. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I feel like it's tough, you know, just you know, starting out. Yeah, we only did it because there wasn't like the hugest Especially in, your area, in no my problem, area. Right? Yeah, so I was like, we're the only one that's going to function this way. So it makes sense to open it. Yeah. But if there's more stores, like I was yeah. like, if I was in LA, I wouldn't want to open up a yeah. store. There's too many. Yeah, there's way too many. I mean, there's still room yeah. for everyone to eat, but like, I feel like everyone that's coming there, like there's no store like this. Like yeah. there's either consignment shops or like that's pretty much it. Yeah. So we're- San Fernando Valley, there's like two, three shoe plugs really yeah. cool. I don't know if you've seen them. Yeah. Um, and there's like another one or two. So there's room, but still it's like, you know, yeah, starting now it's tough. You know? Yeah, it is like, I mean, you got a pretty decent Instagram following. Yeah. So it just depends. Like, And plus what I realized all the deals you've done like locally, those people come back, like yeah. they want to support you. And cause I've, I, I didn't have the biggest following when I started, I still don't even have a big following, but like all the people I've done deals with, they're like, I followed you. I remember seeing your posts on, on offer up and like, yeah. and they all just come back and like, they want to support. And I think that's the biggest thing is, I think you have a lot more supporters than you think. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then it always shows up when you're actually trying to put your, like take a step out of faith and like yeah. try and do something like that. But. Try to make it worthy, you know, a long day. Yeah, I get so you. I'm trying, trying to see every table and then, I yeah. guess once I saw everything, I'll probably dip. I'll yeah, we're almost done. We're going down this really way, soon? this way. Uh, I mean, we're going to chill and like go get yeah. some food and do all that yeah. stuff. But um, that's pretty much it. Yeah. I yeah, appreciate man. you, bro. Sorry. No, you're good. You're good. Yeah. yeah. Nice to meet you, too. All right, man. Good I'll luck. see you around. Keep hustling. Yes, sir. I'll see you around. All right. All right, everyone, we're here. Uh, the best sandwich spot in Southern California, or Southern San Diego. If you guys don't believe me, we'll show you some of the rewards and little stars and like, oh, what was it called? Uh, we'll show you the awards that they get. Number one spot for sandwiches. Gotta hit them up, Hungry Hank's Deli, San Diego. Honestly, I've, I think I've found maybe one other place that sells sandwiches as good as that. Like, 
I just can't, I can't eat Subway or Jersey Mike's and stuff like that after eating here. Like I just can't like, it changes you. So uh, we're gonna go ahead order and show you guys what we get. All right, so Chris here got the Hankster, I believe. So it looks like it's melted Swiss cheese with some uh, pepperoncinis, corned beef, turkey, tomatoes, alfalfa sprouts, and avocado mayo on sourdough toasted bread. Obviously, looks amazing. And then we also got my sandwich, custom sandwich, what I always get, charbroiled chicken topped with pastrami, melted with cheddar cheese topped with jalapeno sauce. And then you also have lettuce, tomatoes, mayo, and avocado. With and each one comes with a nice, good pickle. If you love, if you love sandwiches, man. I'm telling you, this is the place to go. It's delicious. And we also have homemade broccoli soup. It's not broccoli and cheddar. People get that confused. It's just straight up broccoli soup. But homemade always hits the spot. You guys have to come here. And he's like, oh. The real sneak peek? That's your brother? Yeah. Yeah, man. Woo! Right here, the real sneak peek. Stop by. Hey, good to see you, man. Yeah. Good to see you. Hey, you doing good? You make me feel so small. <laughs> yeah, if you guys don't know Phil Davis, Mr. Wonderful. You don't need to. What you need to know is the real sneak peek. That's all you need to know. This man. That's it. You know him? You good. <laughs> You have a fight? What's your fight? Uh, April 16th. April 16th. Tune in. Bellator. Mm hmm. Champ is here. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah. And his brother in law is here too. Yeah. This yeah, yeah, see what I did there? Yeah. Ah! Ah! <laughs> gonna go ahead and we're going to go ahead and eat this, and then we're going to go ahead and shoot over, maybe get some more deals going. We own a sneaker shop. Okay. What's it called? Uh, Holy Ground. I, 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 I you look familiar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just haven't followed you. Yeah, sneaker sir, but I should. That's cool. You just started YouTube, right? Yeah. Well, I've been doing YouTube for like a year, okay. um, but then like it started popping off since we opened up the shop. Yeah. So like that's kind of just what happened. But. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm, I was just talking to another guy, my wife, and I want to open the shop up to say. Oh, nice. Uh, Kind of make connections and stuff. So. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, yeah. How's it been opening a store? Uh, crazy, yeah. <laughs> just yeah. to say the least. But worth it. Definitely worth it. Uh, and it's it's also just about like your community and like who you're trying to be around. Like, because we're up in Ontario area. Okay. Um, so there's not really a lot of like because we're doing buy sell trade kind of like round two vibes type yeah, of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so there's not a store that does it like that. Yeah. Uh, everywhere else is just either. From what I've heard, like low ballers or just consignment stores, yeah. so they can't like negotiate. And that's the, I, so. I, I like the stores that buy themselves because it's, you can go and actually negotiate. When people don't, like it's like, it's not, it's still yeah. people working with people. Yeah, so. and and we we try and pay out really well. Yeah. Um, but a lot of things that people ask me that people don't know is prices at the store are firm because we price them super, super fairly. Like come into sneaker stores and they yeah. want to like, oh, can you go price, lower? Yeah. And then like they'll go up on like how much they want trade credit and then they'll want to also lower down your price so it's like they're getting a better deal okay. and i'm like i'm like our prices are literally like com competitive market like and that's the thing some yeah. of my pricing here like you know people walk up and i got leak these are at 480 those are at nine which for those actually that's not too far off but like with the universities like people want to lowball like crazy you know mm. like i told people i'm like i'm not selling any university less than four yeah because it's reasonable like, and they're super hyped too yeah, like, it's like especially for super hype so yeah. it's like you know, I understand you're gonna go want to flip it, and that's what I told him. I was like, I'd rather just wait to wait for someone who wants to actually wear the shoe. Yeah. And then I'll work with them on the price. But yeah. If you're gonna lowball me, like, <laughs> give me a respectable offer, we'll work together. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, like we just ran into somebody who wanted like, like 200 for some dunks that were, I mean, on StockX or like 170. Okay. They're like, oh, you don't like want to offer? Like, we could do a better price. And like, no shade on them, you know, like, yeah. they're, it's their price. Yeah. But I just told them like. Like I'd sell them at 170, yeah. honestly. So I'd be under 170 to make some room. They're like, oh, we get it. Like yeah, yeah. from resellers to make yeah. money. But we we did a, a pretty good deal so far. 
And mostly for us, like dunks have been selling like crazy. Yeah, I know. We had a bunch yeah. of dunks up here earlier and they've all, all right, St. Gone. John's or all this stuff. It's yeah. actually kind of surprising that St. John's were, you know, yeah, they're, last year. So. Well, they're still like super hot, but yeah. it's just like the prices are getting higher, so it's, yeah. it's hard. But do you like the foam runners? Uh, I, love, I love the foam runners. The only thing is, uh, I wish I had some. I wish that I had some like how bass is back. I love them. They're more and more comfortable as I wear them. I actually got the the uh, moon gray or whatever it's called. Oh yeah, I yeah. Moon gray because it's been so tough to find a size 11. Uh -huh. Everyone has sizes 10 and below. Like what? Like uh, numerous ones, but size 11 and above is like been so tough. tough. What I try and do with the channel too is try and like help educate like people while we're doing stuff rather than just like just trying to put out content. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like because I, I even did a video about like what it how much I paid to open up a store. Oh, did you? So if you want to watch that, that, actually, that's like that'd be right on point. When yeah, because we made it because I was like, no one else makes a video like that, and so I was yeah. like, I'll just be open about it. And then, but there's other stuff I've learned that I haven't talked about. But if you ever yeah. you know have questions or something, just feel okay. free to ask. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you mind if I give you a card? Yeah. yeah. If I already did or not, but uh, sick. Bogus sneakers. Yeah, yeah. Nice. That's why I love them. I started my name. People were like, oh, so your shoes are good? I'm like, I've yeah. got receipts for most of them. Yeah, I'm so. like, I'm like, so you sell fakes or? Yeah, no, 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 no. Get yeah. you. It was great meeting you. Man. All right, man. I'll see you around. Thanks, man. Uh, 6.30. 6.30? Yeah, not too bad. But yeah, we caught some stuff. But I don't know. It's always hard, like, buying from resellers to resell. Yeah, always. Always. Yeah. But, sure, man. Are you guys buying to resell or are you guys just buying for yourself? I got a pair for myself. I got this top pair to resell. I got messed up some fucking Kentucky. Oh, nice. Yeah. I this year and then pick these up. I to sell these. Oh, nice. Those are fire, yeah. too. That's dope. Yeah. All right, then, man. Yeah, Let's well, I'm going to go say what's up oh, to your yeah, boy, yeah, too. Yeah. You selling these, bro? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I'm my man. <laughs> oh, look, he's wearing the Royals. We just, we just sold him the Royals. We're putting them to feet. I appreciate it, my man. <laughs> you had to put him on the toe real quick. Yeah, you had to put him on the toe real quick. Yeah, yeah. I said it. I told you. I was yeah, going to put him to the toe. Hey. He has the best deal ever. Yeah. Hey, that's that's awesome to hear from the other person, you know. Just Can't what's go up. Wrong. All right, so we picked up a couple pairs. Uh, you guys just kind of saw us sort through them all, but we paid up. We paid up a little bit on them. They need a little bit of cleaning, but it's all good. We're gonna make our profit, and uh, I think that's it for shoes, man. I think we're kind of tapped out for shoes, but let's get some vintage stuff for the shop. Maybe some essential stuff. Uh, let me know what kind of clothing you guys are interested in, but let's go ahead and drop these off. My arms are getting tired. It's a little heavy. Oh, thank you. Oh. Yeah, a couple uh would you just cash out? Yeah, royal ones, shadow ones, obsidian ones, like UNC ones, like Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, you make it right now, bro. They were like all the way at the other end. I'm like I am dead tired with my arms. No, no. Uh. How's it been so far? Dude, I'm buying more than I'm selling right now, which is like cool, but it's also scary. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. I gotta show you the one thing I did. Oh. Got a good seal 
selling these. I paid uh, paid eight fifty for them. Oh, nice. Worn like one time. Super good condition. These things are crispy as hell. It's crazy. I kind of wish they were my size. I really like them. Yeah. <laughs> And then the back says, I plead the blood. And then it talks about Revelation 12, 11. This is a sick shirt, yeah. How much were you on this one? Gotcha. I love the, I love the Christian, the Christian shirts, but. You know, these are pretty good prices for vintage stuff. You know, like it's easy to find people who are, you know, charging like a hundred bucks a shirt just because it's vintage. But you know, there's a fine medium. Like you gotta, you gotta, you know, there's definitely some shirts that are worth a hundred. There's definitely some some people who are getting into vintage that overprice it a little bit, but it's all good. That's a cool one. Um, I could do, I could do 95. That's, that's the lowest. Okay, I could do that. We popped four tees. We got two vintage Nike tees. Uh, paid about tw like 20 and 25. So we'll sell them for about 40 at the store. Uh, we have this vintage Jesus tee that we got for 20 that I'm low-key wanting to keep for myself. Um, and then if it doesn't fit, then maybe we could sell it for, it's another $40 shirt. And then the last one we got is like a Bob Marley vintage shirt. So we bought it for 30, paid up a little bit more on it, but we'll have it at like 50 or 60 bucks at the store. So not bad. Yeah, yeah. What's the store name? Uh, I'll check you guys out. We're by like Ontario. Up in, up, up by LA, Ontario? Yeah. Yeah, I live in Upland. So, oh, yeah. yeah, our shop is in Upland. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. What is it called? Uh, Holy Ground. You guys literally, where at? Where at? What street? Uh, Mountain. Mountain 8? Like, uh, okay, by the freeway. Yeah, yeah. We're on, we're on Mountain 16. We're oh, by cool. the Stater Brothers. That's where we live. Oh. Uh, let, uh, do you have an Instagram for yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Shop would go to you guys. I'm show up on you guys. Like, what's that? <laughs> Remember this. Yeah. Pull, pull 30 pairs out, like, <laughs> buying them. Uh, holy ground shop. Holy ground? Yeah. One word? Yeah, that Perfect. one. There it is. Show. Yeah, we opened, like, uh, Yeah. 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 Come to our sneaker yeah. shop. We just opened. Open one in Berlin. Berlin. Holy ground? Let's go. Yes. Yes, sir. Shit, you guys should come to these events and get shirts. I know. We're, like, thinking holy about doing stuff. The, the address on the back and throw them out. Yeah. It's fire, bro. Yeah, look, honestly, you're, I was looking at your photos. You guys got good heat. Yeah. You guys look like you're doing it right. Like, all you guys need to know is people to know your name. That's it. You guys, yeah. You guys, that's dope. And that's what, and that's what like, the YouTube videos, like, yeah, half the true. people come in, they're like, oh, I saw you on YouTube. I'm like, that's dope. Like, that's what's up. Yeah. Come in. Exactly. Yeah. Like promotion, right? Yeah, exactly. Open for like a month. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. Just open. Nice. Okay. Dope. Yeah. That's dope. But groundbreaking. Yeah, yeah. But for sure, I'll come back around though. Yeah, if you're still here, come back around. If not, I got your card. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm definitely trying to. I'm gonna visit you guys. Uh, I, I'd like to. Even if it's just making friends in the sneaker game, bro. You know. Nice to meet you. My name is Vince. But Andrew. Andrew. Chris. Chris. Nice to meet you. Man. All right. Thanks, Vince. I'll see you guys. Yeah. One of Holy Grail's ground? Holy ground, yeah, yeah. Holy smokes. Uh, I just want to say, you're, I, I've watched you since day one, bro. Before you even had your storefront. I, Thank you. I heard your voice and it was like, it almost, <laughs> almost insane, bro. I literally just watched it. Literally, um, wow, That's I just awesome. want to say thank you, bro. Uh, yeah. Thank you for influencing me, bro. You're part of the reason why I'm in this game too now. Dang, dude, that's you're, awesome. You're it looks like you guys are doing really well. You're one of, yeah, I just watched it today. It was crazy. <laughs> that's you said awesome, all those, all those Jordans for that one pair. I just saw that one not too long ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was, uh, 
That's dope, man. Yeah, well, I just want to say hi, just hello. Uh, yeah. My name's Jojo, bro. Like I said, Jojo? I'm sorry to be selling just because you're one of my one of my yeah inspirations. Honestly. That's awesome, bro. Yeah, yeah bro. it's awesome thank, to meet you. Thank you so much. Thank Did, you. Do you have like an Instagram or something you want to yeah, shout bro. out? Yeah, um, I have uh, Instagram back for more sneakers. Um, you can find me there. Um, like I said, I watch you every day, almost every yeah, almost every day, bro. That's awesome. And man. That's, thank you, bro. Thank Appreciate you for everything you're doing so far. Thank yeah, you so of course, much, man. man. Appreciate you. As always. Like the double sided tees are always pretty good. I don't. Huh. We'll see what he's doing. He said 25 for this, not bad. I'm gonna see if he'll do 20, what I wanna pay for it. Like, low key is cool, but why? I, for some reason, when I first looked at this, I just thought it was Ron Swanson. I don't know, but Ron Swanson don't need to be carried. Like, he's Ron Swanson. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. That's sick. Too small though. These are pretty good too. Holyfield versus Ruiz, 2001. But look how long it is, bro. Like this is like a dress. I can't, like I can't. It's like a one size fits all tee, but it's huge. Humongo, Charles Barkley. So small though. I don't know if anyone would buy it. That's a struggle, man. That's the struggle with like finding vintage t-shirts is like, just because you find a sick graphic doesn't mean it's gonna sell. Like you need the right size and vintage shirts run pretty small as is cause they've just been washed and washed, which is what's cool cause it loses the color. It gives it the, the vintage feel to it. But like the sizing, like if you, like normal people wear like a large, extra large. And so whenever you find like a smaller medium, they just don't sell like too well. And if they do, usually it's like the females who want to wear them. And so you have to find something that's more geared towards, you know, that gender. I'm not sexist or anything like that. But <laughs> like, that's just what it is. Uh, just like, just like when you find grade school sizes, like you're going to find things that appeal more to the females rather than buying stuff that only like guys like. So find balance. Yeah, if you wanted to all for 130, I'd be a, that'd be my best price at 130. 130. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's my birthday. Uh, we cop like five more vintage tees. Gonna probably make like usually for vintage stuff, I try and make like 50% profit. This is clothing's like kind of up there, and you're not spending that much. You still want to make some money, so bought some like 20, 25 dollar tees. We're gonna sell them for like 40, 50 bucks. So not bad. And like that's, I feel like that's like a fair market price for them too. So. It's not like we're overcharging people, uh, but yeah, hopefully get some drip at the shop and match your shoes and all that stuff. So we'll see. We're almost done here. Just doing a few more laps around, just making sure we didn't miss anything. I love the spontaneity of, of things and that's how you do business. Like you open yourself up to experiences and you try and have fun and just uh, like continue to network and do all that stuff. So, but yeah, let's, let's get going because I'm tired. I'm hungry, I'm sure Chris is hot and tired. <laughs> so, we're all good. Dang, look at this dog. It's huge. They got like all the Nike stuff, which is like exactly what I want. Like I want, like, I love the Nike stuff. Like that's cool too. I like that little, the little Nike one. It's got just do it on the back, large. So I'm gonna see if he'll run like 20 each on them, get a deal and still got more to look at though. And then 40. 90. Uh, 
I'm, I'm just running like a Venmo. Yeah. Yeah. Because I wanted the one that had this plant in it, but like in the bigger one. Oh, yeah. I literally just told it because I'm over there. Uh, yeah. Alright. This is really cool stuff though. Thank you. Yeah. Dang. Can I see that one? You go hold it. I think they have like a, I think it's a flight um can you run 250 uh, you do 270 uh i can meet you at 260 but that's probably the best i could do for him you do 265 i i just be at the 260. all right, all right. yeah the only bummer is like the that heel yeah yeah but like they'll still sell for like three ish absolutely yeah i uh, doing a little bit of buying, yeah, yeah. Not too heavy, because I just bought super heavy like an hour ago, but what do you, what do you got for me? <laughs> it's not real, it's real. Yeah, I, I get you. What do you think, 10 bucks? Nice to have sitting around the store, huh? Yeah. You do five? Seven? Oh. All right, man. Seven bucks. Thanks, bro. Uh, the ambushes are new. I don't really think you can pick these ones that well, though. I'd imagine that I would notice right away. Those I got for 200 How much are you selling them for? People have been looking at the price, and they're like, wow, that's a good deal. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, guys. So that's it for Kobe's. Uh, let's see what time it is. 11:42. so we were here for about like four four and a half hours or yeah 6 30 to 11 30 so like four hours so uh we went we walked around i mean there's still deals like usually like you guys saw i picked up these royals uh size seven and a half no box they're used but not bad we picked them up for 260 you know uh royals like in pretty decent condition sell for about 350 plus it's a rare size so maybe we can do that or price them at 350 make 90 bucks and give someone a steal for that price i mean they are a little bit more used so i still got to check market but anyways that's like a sum of what's going on sometimes deals come in deals go out but when you're dealing with people like who are vendors at the tables like most of them are resellers trying to make their money so obviously it's harder to find deals or to negotiate down like and that ends up becoming more about your negotiating skills and i don't know just stuff like that like it's um and you guys know I try and pay fair as, 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 as much as I can, try and get some steals and deals here. But other than that, we did pick up a good couple of shoes. Uh, the trunk is low key full, but I mean, like shadows, I think we paid three for them. Just need a little clean. They'll sell for like, uh, like anywhere between 350 to 380. Like for me, I'm okay with those margins. We also got like some dunks, uh, all the dunks, Honestly, like our margins on dunks are like maybe 30, 40 bucks, but I'd rather make 30, 40 bucks quick and get more inventory in for people because you also want customers who are gonna be happy. So, you know, making 30 bucks on a dunk, they sell like within a day. So it's not even like much of a hold or anything like that. Uh, oh, what's going on, bro? Um, and then we got like some smoke gray ones. We paid 220, they're pretty clean. We'll sell them for about 260. And usually at that 260 price, they, they fly. So we already probably have a buyer for this one. I'm not gonna lie. So 260, made 40 bucks right there. Got even more stuff. Royals, we paid, I think we also paid three or 320. Uh, Royals are doing pretty good. Probably like a 380, they're worn like one or two times. So definitely not bad. And we got more dunks and all this other stuff in there. And we also got a bunch of vintage stuff um mostly like vintage nike tees and like stuff that's going to be good for the summertime we want a lot more vintage tees just because one i love vintage so i love having it in the store um and we picked them all up for about anywhere between 20 to 30 dollars we didn't really pay too high and they're all shirts that sell for like 40 bucks so pretty good and then lastly uh essentials tee this is probably going to be for myself 
It is brand new, it's a medium. It's from like the 2019 collection, I think. So uh, I love Essentials. This is a cool color, Heather and like some cream. We paid 90 for it, he was at 100. But if you look on StockX right now, they're going for about 140. So if I don't like it or if it doesn't fit me, it'll be like we could sell it for 140, 150 at the shop, still make money on it. So everything here has margins, some bigger than others, but also it depends on movability. Now, also it's all about having the right capital because you don't want to invest to only make 30 bucks, but, um, but yeah. So other than that, we're just going to go ahead, pack all this up. So let's go to it.